my boy Sochi. Long time Arakuni man. Yeah. Soji actually came to the States once for NEC, I think like two or three years ago. It was very hype. He won the tournament. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense to me. I think I was there for that NEC. That was the year oh, that he nice. came and played BB and Persona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that was the gate, the turbo gate. Do you remember that? No. Uh, it was when LK beat him in Persona because Soji's stick was on turbo. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Nobody knew because I mean he's used to playing in the arcades. Nobody like him though. That was pretty funny. Turbo Gate. I'm pretty sure Soji's talking mad shit up there. Sounds like it. No disrespect to LK though. He's a very strong player. But yeah. So winners finals. Soji versus Amira. Was it? I mean, uh, like is that. it? Top four? Top three, top three. Top and, three. And then we'll have Tsujikawa, Izanami waiting in losers. Okay. Yep. Alright, this is hype. Yeah. Last, I th it's the last finals for today, right? We had a lot of tournaments today, and I think I think they kept Blue for the end. Yeah. So this uh, should be good. Dual field, I know why they're going there. Uh, oh, Stream Chat says it might be Fenrich, with a, uh, signed up under a different name. Uh, sadly, I can't see him. I'd probably be able to recognize him. Is it like a kid with a mask? Or like a... <laughs> you just described half of Japan. No, no, but like, he's actually like really young. Fenrich. I, everyone looks young to me. Okay. <laughs> he's like 18 or 19, I think. Yeah, I, I think this might be Fenrich too, based on the way he plays. Okay. Uh, his color is already a good indicator. Alright, Jin versus Arakune. Now, Finrich is really solid. And yeah. Jin can help catch Arakune with those big jumping normals. Like that. Yeah, very hard for Arakune to play around him. But any hit from Arakune is going to be very scary because it's going to curse him. Oh, the trades. No one with a definitive hit yet. Oh my god, the ground is shaking. All right, Fenrich yeah. has no curse. All building Fenrich curse. is in. Fenrich is in. Keeping the pressure. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of curse cage. Is that's it gonna, gonna be, be enough though? Yeah, it is. All right, let's see. Oh, he's gonna keep the couple going a bit. Gonna turn invisible. Counter. Yeah, counters out. Clever. Pretty smart. It's Pretty very smart hard to beat it. So. All right. So, so he's gonna get the knockdown. So I was able to seal it with this curse, but maybe... Soji's in good position. He is, Next he is. combo will probably kill before it even curses. Yeah, there it is. Oh, Fenrich decides to burst, though. He believes. He wants it. Uh, he got a counter hit, though. Let's see. Soji burst. Fenrich beating his end here. They're not coming out, though. Yeah, and Soji takes the first round. That's Soji neutral. It is two out of three, I believe. So not like the two last games that you've seen. Oh, uh, start of the round, yeah. Right, early burst, early burst, good, good. Yeah, here's a whole round to take this back. Oh, and there's a cloud. Curse cage building up. Fenrich with the air throw, though. Had it. Got him, snatch him out the sky. All right, knockdown. Let's mix up. Oh, Jin, get off me. Nice offense, though. Oh, nice. Uses the fireball to catch the back dash, I think. Oh, it's going to be a lot of curse cage. Almost that curse. It has to be really careful, and that's going to be curse. Let's go. Oh. Hardy Bugs. Damn, someone called Pest Control. It up. Yep. Oh, makes the yeah. DP whiff. I mean, that's... Yeah. Fenrich was counting on that RC, but Soji completely baited it. Oh, there's the RC, though. Curse is back. Someone get the raid can. God damn. Overdrive. Oh. End of the round. I don't know. He doesn't have the meter. Is he going to build it, though? I don't think so. Oh, very close. Oh, oh, he was still in curse after yeah. that. Jesus. He wanted to let make it expire, I guess. All right, he won't be able to curse from this, but... Oh, he does have the super, though. Oh, it doesn't curse anymore. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. He couldn't use it super anyways. He was in the no curse timer. What just uh, happened? Oh, baits the end here. Wow. All right, first game goes uh, Soji. That looked pretty dangerous there at the end. Yeah. That no curse timer is new, right? 
Yeah, there's a certain amount of time after he curses you that he can't recurse you immediately. So yeah. if he would have done that bug super, it wouldn't have cursed him. Yeah. It does a, a okay amount of damage though. Not scaled by the combo, so. But yeah, so I mean, first ra first match goes to Soji. Very solid play, good baits. Um, baited yeah. all of Fenrich's defensive options. Yeah, welcome to the real world, kid. <laughs> Old man Soji will show you what's done. <laughs> oh boy. Already at half curse, eight seconds in. Oh, guard cancel. Yeah, guard cancel starting the curse is pretty strong for Arakune. But now he doesn't have a burst. Fenris is gonna get a corner knockdown. Very scary spot for Arakune. Spend 25 meter to make the curse go timer go away too. Oh, he's counter hits. Yeah, Jin with the solid options for get for knockdowns off random confirms. Keeping Arakune in the corner. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably gonna be it. So Fenrich fighting back. That I, I think that's his first round he takes. What do you gotta do to have reactions like that, man? I don't know. Oh, there, you can see it in the back there, KSB 2016. Yeah, that's why they went here. Uh, oh, nice burst. Uh, avoided all the curse. All right, uh, Kuni's gonna get his burst back here real quick. That annoying cloud keeping Fenrich on the ground. Yeah, avoiding the cloud pretty well, though. Oh, nice. Finally gets a hit. Oh, nice punish on the back dash. Oh, punishes the no tech. Ah, wow. nice confirm. Wow, what was that? I don't know. Please fix. Amazing. And the reset. Ah, the burst. Yeah, yeah. Good burst, good burst. Or, well, anyways. <laughs> Jin busting out the dirty. Oh, now it's the homing cloud. Scary spot. He's just going to curse. and air. <laughs> hey, I mean, if it works. You do what you have to do. All right, well. Uh, ah, and now he puts the wild in curse cloud, which slows you down, I think. What kind of rate do you like? I like the low smell, the no smell, low irritant. I sprayed all over my house. Wow, that cross up. That was gonna be. This is not curse oh. again, but almost. Next touch will be curse. But is he gonna make it to the next touch? He's living on pixels right now. And that overhead counter hits. That overhead is so fast. 1 1. 1 1, yep. And both matches were two rounds, like straight rounds. So both players, like, you know, holding momentum, playing very, very, very well. Alright, yeah. So, Fenrich was able to lock down Soji close to that first round. And in that second round, he just won in neutral. Yeah. Soji not blocking those 6As at all. It's hard. Like, it, to block on reaction, not everyone can do it. SKD can do it. <laughs> but then Jin has all these other options too, you know. You gotta be ready for everything. Uh, Soji backdash himself into the corner. Uh, and then Fenrich catches the forward dash. Puts him back in the corner, towards the corner. Oh. Nice, my friend Rich. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, good place to burst there, I think. Looks pretty safe. Ooh, anti air whiffs. Ah, tried to 3 there, didn't Crouch work out. Too. Yeah. What's the gimmick? Good. Oh, just goes for a knockdown. Safe jump. Safe jump. Nice throw deck. Ah, it's knockdown. Arakune could take control of this round if he can get curse. Yeah, he just needs like one random curse. He's all he almost has it. And then the mix-ups. Ah, that's gonna be it though. <laughs> and oh jumpy. my god. Calls out the teleport. They have the face up so loud I can feel my body shake. Yeah. My insides are shaky. Alright. Getting up one round. Arakune flying everywhere, trying to get that cloud to build curse for him. Great. Ah, uh, no confirm there. Kind of awkward. Let's see. Safe jump. Good. Good blocks. Good Frozen. defense. Frozen, Frozen popsicle tree. Hey. The crowd. Nice the block finally. Combo. And no RC from, from Fenrich. Smart man. The trade. Oh, 
Soji's on pixels and he's not gonna get his first check. Yeah. He's gonna be it. Fenrich decides to swag it out on the end. Fenrich oh. is gonna advance mm. to grand finals. We're gonna have Soji against Sujikawa in losers. That'll be an interesting matchup because Shield will make it so if she can get uh, if she can get a, a moment to put Shield up during Curse, she can actually negate a lot of Curse. Yeah. Just run in at uh, run in at Arakune. But that was a very solid play from Jin. Uh, oh, Jin yeah. a very very solid player in the hands of a very strong player like Fenrich. Did not or whoever yeah. this is, if this isn't Fenrich, <laughs> this guy is obviously very strong. He did not let Soji set up anything in the last two rounds. Didn't even there. give him room to breathe. Yeah. I looked mad annoying. Like, get off me. Like, don't touch me, pretty boy. <laughs> Go bother someone else. So I'm a disgusting blob monster. I'm not into things like you. Loser's semis match, the fourth place match, was uh, Tsujikawa versus some other Arakune. I'm trying to remember the name. Um, and, I mean, Tsujikawa just destroyed him completely. So let's see if Soji can do something differently in that matchup. Well, Soji is known as the Shinigami, the god of death. <laughs> yep. I remember Dora saying in CS2, Soji is, like, Arakune is no future. Or CS Extend. Yeah, Arakune. Oh, oh, Soji-san. Oh, Soji-sama. He's been playing fighting games for a long time, and he's consistently top in every game he plays. His Teddy, of course, everyone oh, knows. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, been, he's been known in Eevee for a long time. And he's surprisingly good at Guilty Gear. Like, he has a Faust. Yeah, and he's been grinding uh, Exert with Bedman. Okay, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey guys, who's the next? Who's the next match, guys? It should be Tsujikawa versus okay. Soji. Sorry, who's the next uh, match, guys? Should be Tsujikawa versus Soji. Okay, cool. Thank you. But what do I know? I came in half asleep. <laughs> it's all right. I'm sad they turn off the casual stations. I want to pop somebody. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they'll be turning them on again, though. Ah. Well, they wanted to focus on the stage for the finals and everything. That's fair. Don't look at the chat, man. Don't do it. Ah. It's dangerous. It is, it is. Jiyun is in the chat, though. Oh. He's sending Banana Ken to do rags. Juna, hurry up and come out here. Tsujikawa switching to Tao Kaka. Oh, really? That's surprising considering how much he destroyed the that earlier Arakuni in fourth place. I mean, Tsujikawa has, has played Tao before. He has for a long time. Yeah, so. Alright, maybe he feels more confident against Soji like this. Or maybe it's just a button check. For what a nostalgia purposes. Ah, ah, that's right. Why Why are they button checking? No, it's, I actually like button checking. Like, like, you know, you just do some, some specials to make sure that, like, how you're seated on the chair, like the stick alignment and everything. Maybe test out the delay a bit, do like a, a link or something. Yeah. It's just it's just to, to get a, a little feel for it before the match. It's a good idea. Damn Capcom infecting my anime girls. Yep, there's Izanami. Yeah, there, there she is, there she is. Put some clothes on, girl. That shirt, I would not let you go to high school wearing that outfit. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It looks like a, a twist on the Miku, uh, Miko, you know the Shrine Maidens? Yeah. Like they're the same colors and everything. KSV Blaze Boot 2016 looks mad hype. Yep. I wonder what Soji reads. What do you think he's into? What do you mean? I think he has like a copy. Like you know, he's got those books at the beginning. Pretty okay. sure he has a copy. Like everybody poops. A tale of two cities. Like random crap. <laughs> All right, bullet help. Oh, good anti air. Yeah. Okay. Early burst of Soji. I imagine if Izanami can get Soji in the corner, it'll be pretty difficult for Soji to get out. Yeah, Izanami has like pretty good like movement options. So for Soji to lock her down and hit her with curse is gonna be pretty hard. 
Lots of projectiles too, so he has to get the block to make sure that the bugs stay out, the clouds. Oh. Kujikawa trying to play around the curse, avoids it well. Is he going to avoid the cloud completely? That cloud is so annoying. So much a negative penalty. Anything he oh. gets hit by will hurt. Alright, he's out of it. No barrier though. Yeah, danger is so dangerous because <laughs> it, it kills your barrier gauge, so you can't even air block, right? So, very scary, but makes it count. Stop running away. A real Guard man fights. Rush, cross up. What are you going to do about that? <laughs> Invisible. Like, uh, you got to guess. I unplug my opponent's stick. <laughs> can't do that at the arcade. Oh, is he going to get this? Wow, close. All right, good. This might be Sushikawa's time. Ah, too far. Yeah. Right. There you go. Ah, too far again. Ah, doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep doing it. Another one. Oh, nice block on the overhead. Sushikawa, dropping another combo. Alright, broke the grab, so that means that uh, the shield is gone. And now, Izanami's in trouble. Oh, this can yeah. very easily swing back around. He does have a burst, though. Is Soji gonna do a burst safe combo? Or is he gonna keep it simple? Go for an unblockable, maybe? Overdrive. Ah, goes low. Space to the Axel. <laughs> uh, why can't you do that? Shields up. No reason no to finish it, but there you go. So you taking the first round, first match. 3C in your face. I mean... They, they've changed 3C, right? It's a bit safer now, isn't it? Well, either way, he could have rapid cancel. He was going to Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. So... <laughs> Did what he had to. Alright, Soji up one. If uh, uh, Tsuchikawa doesn't make the right adjustments, it looks like we're going to have a rematch of Soji versus maybe Fenridge? Fenridge, quotation marks, <laughs> question mark? Oh, someone in the chat is asking what the curse does. It lets him summon the bugs. All the bugs are negative edge when you release the button. It's pretty cool. Basically, it's a giant meter that fills up. Yep. And when it fills up, it's Arakune's turn until that meter's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Summoning bugs makes the meter go down, though, so you got to be really careful with your calls. Do you? Do you? Yeah. If you say agree to disagree. Yeah. yeah. Alright, bullet hell mode is trying to get Soji to catch him. Sit down. Woo! Good combo. Good combo, yeah. Not dealing with that back dash. This round looks very dominant for Tsuchikawa so far. But as we've seen, all it takes is one curse. It, yeah, definitely. And he's about to get it. Oh, nice. Uses the float to avoid the curse, but gets air thrown. And that's going to be trouble. There's the bug number one. Ah, nice. The bugs weren't able to save him there. Oh, didn't cross him up this time. All right, curse is over, but is he still going to burst? No. Tsuchikawa decides to hold on to his burst. I don't know if I disagree with that, but... Ah, oh, gets hit low. Ah, oh, he had the burst, yep. Alright, shield's up. Uh, his shield's not Basically up. Basically negated the rest of that curse. Yeah. And Tsuchikawa has a life lead, and there's not a lot of time left. Ah, uh, I don't know who has life lead anymore, but it's definitely not Tsuchikawa. <laughs> Arisol gets tech. Four seconds, three, two. Ah, uh, nothing you can do at this point. Uh, yeah. If you're sitting at home watching this, wondering if, if this is annoying as it looked, yes it is. Yeah, get, get on the ground, you piece of crap. Uh -huh. You damn flying cloud garbage. Yeah. Lots of movement options. Floats and everything. He t teleports the other side. That's the one that gets me. Chase him uh -huh. down, he teleports away again. Yeah. And he got through like face teleports. It's really annoying. Oh, whoa. In the corner, teleports but out of the corner. Tsuchikawa dominating right now. Hey, this is looking like Tsuchikawa's round. He's gonna get pinwheel shield. Yeah, making this look easy. 
I don't know why he doesn't do pinwheel at all. Oh, go slow this time. Suji blocked the overhead, but couldn't block the low. Only guessing a bit. Suji Kawa seems pretty against using uh, the pinwheel move as Oki. I, I haven't seen him use it once. It's really strong. I guess he prefers it for a mix up afterwards. Oh, maybe. Trying to avoid the cloud there. And oh, it's nice avoiding the bug. Oh, Super Goa's turn. Oh, Soji jumped out. This is gonna be big. This might be Curse. Hey. Yeah, there you go. So, he has a burst, so he's gonna have to be careful. He got hit by the low. When is he gonna, when is he gonna burst? He has to do it sometime. Guard Crush. Is he gonna bait the burst? Oh, bait the burst. Didn't come out. He can go ahead and bite. Nah, no, there's the RC. Oh, there's the burst. Go on, Pixels. The RC, there's. Oh my god, that Empty was. Jump low. That was dirty. That was very dirty. I'd be looking at my opponent right now, like, you mother. He kept it for the end. He definitely saved it towards the end. All right, so Soji takes it 2-0 pretty convincingly over Sujikawa. Strong, yeah. Sujikawa put up a great fight, but it wasn't enough. Uh, whatever you say, buddy. Yeah, something about death and coming. Whoa, hey, this is a Christian, this oh. is a good Christian screen. He, he, he had the kanji for come, right? I mean, to, to go somewhere, to return. Oh, oh, the, oh. That one, like... Uh, All right, uh, just saying, man. I know, I know. There's I know. probably little children watching right now with their parents at home. Yeah, I, there's 2,000 people watching. There has to be one child in there. Does there? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe he saw it, he's looking, browsing, and he was just like... Uh, I like anime. He like picked it up. And he's like, "Damn, this game is bullshit." So this character is like a little eight-year-old sit there, like, "Damn, this character looks stupid." <laughs> now he's probably thinking this character looks pretty cool. I want to play this character, and we'll be like, you know, then his mom should come in his room and beat him right now. She didn't raise that kid right. <laughs> that boy's learning wrong. That was bullying. But yo, if you want to play Arakune, if you want to play Arakune, you're a bully. You're taking other people's turns. You're <laughs> Yeah. This is true. I'm kind of used to like the current Arakune, like for the game that we play, uh, Extend, and the previous version, CP, where Arakune was like, okay, not that great. But in this version, I think he's good again. Soji was playing Valkenhayn in the previous versions. Now he's back to Arakune. I guess it's a sign that Arakune is back. Yeah. You can tell Arakune's strength by whether or not Soji plays him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Kitsune, that's the name of the Arakune that got top four. So, I mean, hey, two Arakunes in, in top four. That's please nerf. Nerf. Sakurai, please nerf. <laughs> what are you doing? Sakurai. Or Mor Mori, Mori in this case. Oh, right, course. sorry. And we could ask Sakurai too, but he's not going to do anything about anything, but. Yeah. <laughs> please select your character. So, yeah, rematch from uh, Winner's Finals is going to be. Uh, Soji versus possibly Fenrich. Fenrich? That's the way you have to say it. Then you have to do a little slight intonation so you don't know what, you know, so you don't know. Oh. Fenrich? Fenrich plays A style. It's like with the A on your thumb there. Okay. Alright guys, man, final two. Soji versus... What's the Jin's name? Uh... Ari... Amiba Ar or... Amiiba? Yeah, it was like Amiibas. Amiiba, Amiiba. Yeah, Amiiba. The Fenrich clone. Oh, they're about to check again to make sure. Just to make sure. That's okay. Plays Blue, KSB 2016. Shout out to everyone who came. It's unfortunate that last weekend was uh, Braver's Revel, I think. Yeah. So I guess some people use their vacation days to go to that. <laughs> And couldn't make it to this. But shout out to everyone who came to this. Yeah, Braver's Revo was kind of the bigger thing. Now, don't get me wrong, KSB is a very big thing, but to Blaze Blue players, Braver's Revo was kind of the more coveted tournament. Yeah, Blaze Blue players here, I think they like team tournaments a bit more. And I mean, it did happen in Tokyo as well. I mean, Braver's Revo had all the qualifiers, it was, yeah. it was a big deal. 
And for this one, you had to have like a PS4 stick. But I mean, they did have. I mean, the company made a version specifically for this <laughs> event, which is amazing. Thank you, Arxis. Thank you, Arxis. It works. We love you, even if we hate you sometimes. Alright, now let's see if Soji can adjust to what happened last time, where he got mauled in the corner and could not block 6A to save his life. Yeah. Literally. He died oh, because of it. That Dunsey hit confirmed. Ah, went low this time. Goes for curse on block. 5D on block is good. Nice. He knew he would try and jump over the cloud. But now he's in the corner. Tried to beat the burst. Yeah, that would have been a good burst from Fenridge to, to keep him in the corner, but it didn't work out. All right, if he gets a good hit, he goes into overdrive. Ah, uh, no be overdrive, it. though. Yeah, looks safe. Ah, gonna get cursed. He's playing bold. Nope, nope. very close, though. Any bug on block is gonna be cursed. There it is. And I air 3C again. Ah, nice confirm. This is gonna take him far, and then he's gonna be able to set up a guard crush. Oh no. <laughs> what the hell? You hate to see that kind of thing happen. Uh, I love it. It makes uh, me laugh. Oh yeah, I hate this character too. I'm completely unbiased. Soji's my senpai, but our grenade. So I, I feel nothing. Whoever uh, wins, wins. Well, this looks like it might be the end. Yeah, there it is. Got caught mashing out something. Yeah, mashing, hitting buttons when Arcune has you cursed. It's <laughs> it's pretty bad. You have to hit the right button at the exact right time. Going to the corner. Ah, nice escape. Just can't save up that or whatever he was trying to do. Or dash out. Oh, there's one overhead. Goes low this time. Uh oh. Back at his death. Finally. Ah, uh, gets anti-air though. Yeah. Counter hit anti-air too. Oh, that's gonna be it. I, maybe with super, you can beat up. Yeah. Anime. And pretty good damage for an anti-air there. 5k. Pretty good. Alright. Both have their burst. Early hit goes to Ben. Abiba. Block 6A. Ah, nice but it was barrier, so he couldn't really take advantage of it. Ah, nice burst to keep the corner. Ah, might be letting Fenrir escape, though. Fenrir's gonna come through the ground. Ah, nice. Crouch confirmed, too. Oh, drops a combo, though. Overhead. Hey. Hi. Overdrive. Oh, is this gonna be enough? Bop, 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 Wow. Screen explosion. So the Exceed Axles don't have the same minimum damage as the other supers. They don't. Well, okay, so Exceed Excels, when they're outside of Active Flow, they do doo do minimum damage. But oh, when okay. you're in Active Flow, like Fenridge, Amoeba, whoever it was, yeah. it does a decent amount of damage as a minute. Oh, okay, okay. I see. I didn't notice the icon. I well. think it was pretty sick that when when uh, Amoeba won, the, the screen started, the the stage lit up in like a celebration. Oh, I, they do it when when someone wins the tournament. Like so, they th probably thought it was the last match. But anyways. All right, so wow. Amoeba one zero. -oh. All right, good blocks. Yeah. Ah, dangerous spot for Fenrich or Amiba. Ah, get the side blow, nice. Ah, no confirm. Wow, high up in the air. Oh, and reset. Yeah, that would have been the round, so. Next hit with overdrive will be the round. Oh. Not if he doesn't get bodied by curse first. Ah, oh, there's the overhead. Can't block them all. Unblockable? Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah, he knew it. 
Yeah, so the bell it hits high, right? So you time it with a low and then you do the unblockable. But he knew Finrich would go ahead and do that, so he just jumped away and tried to punish him. He couldn't do it. So he was ready for it, but I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Ah, uh, hit that mix up. Uh, rapid cancel low. He's, he's in the air, so you think it's going to be higher, but it's not. It's looking pretty convincing for Amiibo. It is. One round away from taking it. Oh, nice block finally. Oh, Again. all that curse just from standing there. Yeah. Very scary. Nice, spit on the end here. Hit a neutral, no one's able to land a hit yet. 25 but seconds in. Meanwhile, the curse is slowly building up, so... Ah, uh, there's the first hit. Overhead. Ah, TRM. This is big. Soji's gauge is pretty low for barrier. So, he's gonna have to be careful for the crush triggers too. Ah, that, that's a way out. That's a way out. Ah, cross up guard crush. Sets out some clouds. Oh, this is big. That's curse. Ooh, that's that's pretty big. Arcudi is gonna get his burst back here really quickly. Curse again. Overdrive curse again. Oh, I fight had to confirm. Up. But his curse is about to run out, and it's not gonna be enough to kill, I believe, or is it? Oh. Oh my! Wow. And it ended on footsies. What happened there? Did 5C. 5C dash 5C again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that mid to mid mix up was pretty dirty. Oh. Are they doing TR to 5? Or. Oh, okay, no. Oh. Well, it was two out of three, so that means Amoeba won it pretty uh, handily. F Farp was using the other mic, so... A few words from... Uh, oh, there you go. The organizers. Next up is going to be a special message from Pachi. Uh, he's going to announce Jubei as a playable character. <laughs> Who's willing to take that? No bet? spoilers, no spoilers. I have a hundred bucks, he doesn't do that. Who wants to take me up on it? What do you think he's going to do, though? Uh, I imagine he'll have information about the console release. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like a, a national tournament or something? Maybe. They did just have Braver's Rev. They did. Oh, try, try, try. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, yeah, we can hear you. Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Vaseth. I'm the my English department head for KSB 2016. And uh, earlier I talked to Pachi, and I'm here to let you all know, because it's all going to be written in Japanese, so I'm here to let you all know not exactly what he's saying word for word, but kind of like the gist of what's going to happen so you all can see. Okay. So uh, first they're going to just... Uh, give the awards for first place, and I have those right here. So uh, the first is oh, Mori cool. Producer drew uh, a sketch and signed oh, it. Oh, nice. So they're going to give that to him. I don't know if they're doing that right the second, but I'll just let you know. No. And um, there's cross-fiction posters that they're also giving the winner. And then also something special that they're going to announce in a presentation in a little bit. So right now you see the logo on your screen, but... Uh, Oh, actually, I think they see that. Oh, they see that? Oh, we see the logo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, at some point on the screen, there will be uh, a couple slides for his uh, special presentation, and when he gives a signal, then I can start talking about that. Oh, awesome. <gasps> uh, oh, but actually, wait for the signal like on that screen, because it's probably a restream of the Japanese stream, so it's going to be a bit delayed. No, I, I have the... Oh, yeah, this is direct. direct oh, feed. awesome, awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. Spooky has direct feed for Art's basically. A professional. So d just tell me when to uh, tell me when to switch, Alex. Oh well, whenever he, he's gonna say like, I have a special prize and this is it, which in general okay, he's okay, gonna okay, say okay. this. Okay. And then he's gonna make a hand signal and then hit. Okay. Uh, we're gonna switch over to the slides. I'll be I'll be listening for it, but you know just in case. Yeah 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 yeah. 
Um, well, Far Behind the Scenes is going to just switch to the slides by himself. So. Oh, well, I'm saying I have the shot on camera. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I see. yeah, so I have to switch. Oh, I see, I see, I see. yeah. So, yeah, he's, so he just said two of the posters, so they're showing the posters right now. They're giving that to the winner. Uh, what kind of posters are they? Which they're from Central Fiction. They're showing them right now. They're, it looks like the... It looks like two different arts. It's kind of hard to see from this angle. Which one's cuter? <laughs> I don't know. It's also kind of hard to see from the angle that we have on the screen. Oh, I see. But, uh, I wish I would hold it this in the right? camera. Are there like uh, multiple characters, I guess? Yeah, it's it's two different Yeah, arts. please hold it this way. Thank you. Oh, thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Is it like is it like one image together? Yo. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Give me the waifu one. Give me nine. <laughs> pretty much. I hate her. I no, no, no. It's two posters that make one picture. So they're like yeah, supposed yeah. to be together. Oh. At least that's what it looks like. Hang that up in your room. Yeah. Swag. Yeah. Like the ladies over here. <laughs> and, and yeah. So now they're talking about the sketch, I think. Look at this video game tournament I want. So, yeah, the, this is a special, originally drawn picture and signed by Morty Producer. Did you guys notice the uh, special, like, KSB 2016 in the arena stage yeah, that they yeah, played on? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, like, they were really proud of that. They, like, because this is the only place that you can play the this current PlayStation 4. Uh, he, okay, so he's about to reveal it. Or he just gave the hand signal. Here it is. Oh. And so what this is is um, probably American. I'm not sure if the American market gets this kind of thing, but when you have a lot of you know our arcades and stuff over here, uh, the winners of things like KSB, Chokaigi, etc. They get these special uh, avatars to put above their name in the arcades that they save to their actual cards. So the winner actually gets this logo. So when you play him online or at the uh, arcades, it'll say that. And so this right here is that it's announcing that in fall of 2016, Japan will be getting the uh, console version. Uh, brought here. Uh, I was told that we can't say exactly when non-Japan versions are coming. Okay. So uh, there's that. And of course we have the four characters that are uh, new to Central Fiction, as I understand. So Nine, the Phantom, Naoto, Kuriga Kurugane, uh, Hibiki, is it Kohaku? Kohaku. Yeah, Kohaku, and Inaza. Uh, Izanami are all gonna, of course, be in the console exclusive version, the same as the arcade. And what do you think about these new characters? I haven't seen. I haven't played Blaze Blue in like uh, quite a while. Well, <laughs> Nine's really good. Oh, my girlfriend. And S, so is going to be available for the first time on the console release. Okay. According to him. So it, that'll be coming to Japan this fall, where you can play as S and the uh, four uh, arcade exclusive characters for the first time on console coming this fall. Well, S from uh, X Blaze, right? Yeah, for, she's from X Blaze. Yeah. yeah. So basically, um, now from here on, he said that he's just going to uh, talk about like various Japan exclusive events, like different things where you can. Uh, he said something about like acquiring special points or something about special events that they're doing within Japan, which unfortunately doesn't apply to everybody else. But you know, I told him just to explain basically so the viewers aren't just listening to Japanese yeah. and not knowing what's going on. Like, just to let me know. But yeah, I just want to say like this is really cool like from somebody who's come f to like, one of these big Japanese events for the first time in staff like seeing you know Pachi uh, the art system works battle director like casually talking with fans all day on the blaze blue stages like making a special console exclusive like for the first time ever with the KSB logo and stuff and it's just like really cool and it's just one of those experiences you can only get here in Japan it's nice it's showing that they're Focusing a bit more on console and recognize that console is a big market here too. Right, and actually, yeah. um, a lot of people. There's been rumors that like arcades are dying and game bars are becoming more oh, yeah, popular. Oh yeah, in Japan. a few of them popped up recently, right? No, Spen more than a few. <laughs> Quite a few have popped up, and it's possibly not unrelated to the fact that Street Fighter Five does not have an arcade release. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people are trying to like find competition and play that, especially in preparation for big events like Evo, and. Uh, they just don't have anywhere to play, so these game bars you set up a couple of PlayStation 4s, have Street Fighter, and that's where people are playing. And also, like, 
cost-wise, it's probably more cost-efficient for people who aren't necessarily super good to go there and pay like an hourly rate as opposed to, yeah. like, I, I got beat so I can play 100 yen, 100 yen, 100 yen, 100 yen. I mean, they, they, they did set up like beginner consoles, uh, beginner setups at the arcades too. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. you know, under 8 dan and things like that. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. I think Kiame wants me to like say something after everything's done. Oh, okay, so do I have to go up to the stage? Yeah. All right, looks like I'm going to go on the stage then. Oh. But, uh, yeah, I hope that that was sufficient. Sorry, it was very last minute. They said, oh, we have a special presentation. Uh, can you tell the streamers what's going on? And I was like, yeah, I can do that. So I hope that uh, everyone kind of saw what's going on. And, like, really, like, these cool, like, Japanese exclusive things where they're, like, talking specifically about, um, like, the, the special avatars and stuff you can only get. Like, that would be really cool if we could bring something like that to the stage. But I don't know what that is just yet, you know? Yeah. I don't know how they do it. Maybe like like a PSN download code, but it would be really hard hard to set up. <laughs> right, 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 right. Well, thank you guys. And yeah, uh looks you. like I'm going to join uh Stickbug over on the stage momentarily. Right, thank luck. you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you. Well, you heard it here, folks. Uh, now we know the big the biggest piece of news that came out of that was that CF is definitely going to be fall. We kind of knew that, but it's confirmation. And S is going to be playable on console. Right, we we knew that. Yeah. Um, a little bit of a little bit of a, I would say, a recap of what's happening in the BB world. Uh, the new characters Nine is really good. She's really easy and she's really fun. Naoto's fun, and he's a, he's the struggle. If you like working hard, play Naoto. Ibiki's cool. And Izanami's good. They're all really fun additions to the cast. The cast of Blaze Blue is getting huge, though. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. How many characters? Like, 30-something? It's like 32 or 33. Jeez. Oh, it's, there's Pachi. Someone. Buff Naoto. Buff Naoto. Hang on, do it. Uh, so now, uh, upcoming next is going to be Kyame, uh and Stickbugger. You're going to say a word as the organizers. Oh, so they're coming over to the... Uh are they coming over to the commentary? No, no, stage? they're going to do it on the stage. Do it on stage. So, I don't know if you can get the feed from, like, the microphones on here. Oh, well, you know, they, they can definitely hear the ambience. These oh, things pick up everything. Okay. Oh, and they have, like, uh, ending credits <laughs> for the tournament. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no NYC Furby logo, so everybody just thinks that I'm spooky. Uh. Blown up. <laughs> Story of my life. Wait, oh, you're, you're not spooky? Up. You're not? Yeah. Oh. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. mine, dude. Oh, nice. They have, like, all the entrants for all the games. This is so anime. It is, it is kind of bad. Hey, so shout out to Frosty and Bowser from the UK that came over. Zerp. My boy Zerp. Blade Arcus. Blade Arcus was pretty funny to watch. Yeah. <laughs> that game looks so silly. <laughs> so we have uh, Sir, Blark, and myself as the foreigners that entered. That was fun. Tengeki fighting Climax. Ah, uh, yeah, Circle, my favorite player. Uh, that Circle guy, he's real good. Oh, shout out to Butterfree, and I think Delta's probably in there somewhere. I think, uh, who else? Komodal. I haven't seen Delta all day. Yeah, who is Delta? Either. He's probably playing casuals. Oh, Kame was running De uh, Nitro Plus? <laughs> Delta was playing Nitro Plus. I see Delta right there. Oh, yeah, he wrote Katakana. Oh, and Frosty also entered this. And, uh, just. Seppi, yeah. Lots of foreigners entered uh, Koihime. Needed, <laughs> needed two organizers, it was pretty big. Shouts to Boro organizing BB. It must have been a struggle. It was what, like a 98-man bracket or something? No pools? Yeah, it's it's pretty big. It's pretty big. It's a pretty long Crazy. tournament, but uh, 
Shout out to everyone. Shout out to getting my name wrong. <laughs> Guy man. It was good. Thank you, Arxis. Thank you, day one. I've got to go find my boyfriend, Kamikaze. Oh, well, I want to see his Alice making that announcement on stage. Let me ask. Up next, the stream's turning off, and we're all going out for a harder night of hard drinking. Yeah, don't be shy, boys. If I don't send at least one drunk text message to one of my exes, I'm going to be disappointed in myself. <laughs> well, you're going to have to drink fast. I remember last year it ended a lot faster than I thought it would. So... Uh, are you going to be here any other days? Here? I'm not sure yet. After the door price. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely do want to do some sightseeing. This is my vacation, too. So. Oh, I see, I see. Um, I do want to go hit up Kyoto at some point. Stop yeah. by HO, just walk around and enjoy the sights. I don't get to come out this way very often. I do like video games, but, you know, got to do non-video game stuff every now and then. Or else my mom would be disappointed that she birthed me. <laughs> Sounds like a probably gonna be more than like it's gonna be a thank you for coming, thank you oh, for yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. That's right, stick bug saying we, <laughs> we gonna drink worth gonna the drink. admission price. Drinks are pretty expensive here. Well, here, here in specific. Thank you. If you are an English speaker, you know what I'm saying right now. That means you should go up to the entrance. Thank you. Uh, all right. Should we head out? All right, stream. It's been fun. Thank you, Art, for the opportunity to uh, do some commentating on Team Spooky. Team Spooky. Shout outs to everyone. I love you all. Good night, Cleveland. Yep. <laughs> Good night, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Art, and we're done with uh, KSB Day One. Wow, I am jet lagged as hell, but I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Uh, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, Day Two. Got some Street Fighter Five action, max CPM. Um, a little bit of hiccups today, but uh, we got through it. Um, see you guys tomorrow for more anime. Don't forget to follow my channel at uh, Twitch.tv forward slash NYC Furby, where I'll be. When I'm, when I'm not streaming uh, major tournaments, I'll be net playing a lot of Japanese monsters. And, you know, I have 15 days here, so who knows where I'll be the rest of the week. Definitely planning and scheming. Anyway, guys, I'm going to set you guys all free. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. Peace out. Alright, okay, let's see.